Hi, it's uh, James here, and we're going to do some differentiation today. We're going to find derivatives of different functions. If we've got a function, remember y is equal to x to the power n, then Newton's notation, or if you want to say dy dx, or if you want to say y prime, whichever for the first derivative is equal to n times x to the n minus 1 so you multiply by the power and then you take one off the power and the same is true if you've got y equals a x to the n the first derivative is going to be n times a x to the n minus 1 so all it means is you still multiply by the power of x and then take one off that power so bearing that in mind we'll do these examples so if y equals x squared then dy dx is going to be equal to 2 times x to the 2 minus 1 that's going to be equal to 2x to the 1 which can be written as simply 2x and that's it so if we've got y equals x cubed, then the first derivative, you bring the 3 down in front, it becomes 3x, and then you take 1 away, so it becomes 3x squared. As simple as that. If we've got y equals, say, 2x cubed, then you bring the cubed down, it becomes 3 times 2x squared because you take 1 off the power so that is equal to 6x squared if you've got y equals say I don't know 10x to the 4 then you can say that dy by dx which is the first derivative bring the 4 down in front multiply by the 10x and then the 4 becomes a 3 the power so the first derivative is equal to 40x cubed let's say you've got a function like uh, y equals 3x squared plus 2x plus 7 or that there's more than one sort of x term you just treat them all as separate ones and you differentiate individually and you just add or subtract them depending on the the sign in between the terms so dy dx for the first one is going to be equal to 2 times 3x to the power 1 because we took one off plus 2 times x to the 0 because you take one away from the power you might be wondering what happens to a constant 7 really is actually 7 x to the 0 because x to the 0 or anything to the power of 0 is 1 so 7 times 1 so really we can say that this here is 7 x to the 0 and then if we differentiate it we bring the power down in front so it becomes 0 lots of 7 x to the minus 1 so anything multiplied by 0 is 0 so that's a long-winded way of doing it but just to prove where it all comes from it's going to be 6x plus 2x to the north or 2 times 1 plus nothing so we don't even bother writing plus nothing do we so y prime is 6x plus 2 so if you've got a function like this y is 3 minus x squared plus 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 6 it looks a little bit nasty but it isn't really you just treat it the same in the same way as we have with all the others constants disappear because say 3 is actually equal to 3 times anything to the north and when you differentiate you bring the power down in front and it wipes out the whole term so the first uh, derivative dy dx is going to be 
basically free you just treat it as a constant so it's zero and now we've got a negative so really what this part of the term is is minus one times x squared so you bring the two down in front as usual so it's going to be basically minus two lots of x to the power one or minus two x then we've got a plus sign next so it's plus three lots of four x to the three minus one or two then we've got a minus sign so it's minus two we brought the power down in front minus two lots of the other two x to the power one and plus six is a constant so it's just zero so you don't even bother adding it tidy it up a little becomes minus two x plus twelve x squared minus four x and that's it you may want to combine the like terms if you like really i should write what i'm doing again just to be uh, proper if we got minus 2x and minus 4x so that'll be minus 2 take away another 4 is minus 6 so it's minus 6x and we usually write the larger power of x down first for like uh, neatness and convention so it'll be 12x squared minus 6x in the next video we'll do more difficult questions with like fractional and negative powers and then we'll do the product rule chain rule the quotient rule and we'll differentiate trig functions and things like that any questions just put them below all right thanks for watching